Welcome to the Kotak workshop. Today's video is about skiing and a surprise 50th birthday present uh, made out of uh, Scottish ash and some recycled walnut. And uh, it's for a good friend of mine, uh, Lars, and uh, commissioned by his wife, Debbie. And a uh, big surprise that we managed to uh, keep under wraps and uh, deliver on Friday. Hope you enjoy. I was wondering if you'd be up for making Lars a telemarking lurk for his 50th birthday. A lurk is a long single pole traditionally used by telemarkers instead of two ski poles, usually made from hazelwood with a spike on one end and ideally a hidden hip flask in the other. For ease of transport it will often be able to unscrew or separate in the middle. make this lurk out of this ash that I've had seasoning here in the workshop. So this is from August 2021, but the tree that it came from had already had uh, ash dieback, so effectively it was already seasoning then. But it's, it's well seasoned, and what I want to do is uh, turn this into three sections, and I've had to extend the lathe base in order to do that but we're going to get these turned into uniform sections of ash. So this was the design brief that I went through and uh, this was the, the brief that we were given. Um, we considered the strength and the length and the weight and also this idea of a hidden hip flask and the tip. So did a little bit of sketching out and drawing and planning and then ordered some fittings. So this is what we've got to sort of put together here. This is our uh, alpine tip. That's going to go at the end. Then I've got some fittings here that are actually electrical fittings. So this is going to fit this end here. And what I'm looking at here is the thickness of the wood uh, on the outside uh, because that's what I'm going to have to turn the wood here to. Uh, I'm going to have some fittings. This is um, M12, 12 mil bolt. I'll cut the end off, but that's going to rest inside these joins. I've got some little grub screws and a square nut, which I'm then going to be able to trap the join with. So that'll go in here. So taking something like this and turning it down to I'm actually going to go to 45 mils first but then eventually it's going to be 35 but I want to leave some space uh, it's quite a lot of material to remove So what I want to do now is drill into here in order to put a fitting on to allow the sections to join together. Because it's on the lathe, it's nicely supported at that end, but as soon as I take this out, it won't be as well supported at this end. So what I'm going to use is a new toy, which is called a stabilizer. And this rests on the bed of the lathe and then you adjust it so that these uh, almost roller skate supports um, can turn while it's supported. So I'm going to put this on and then drill the first hole going this way.
Okay, this is where we've got to in the project. We've got three pieces of uh, ash that have been turned. I've got the fittings in uh, the end, except for this end, which is going to be uh, literally the pointy end. And um, they're sort of getting smooth. Uh, this is the middle section. And uh, we could just put them together and end up essentially with a long stick. But what we want to do now is actually make them quite attractive because this is um, supposed to be quite artistic as well. It's going to spend most of its time um, on a wall in the chalet at the ski resort, uh, but then used a couple of times a year um, when people go out using their traditional uh, lurks. So we want to make it slightly Scottish. So I'm going to put uh, some Celtic knots into all three. Um, I have some other videos showing how I've done this with rolling pins and uh, with a hammer. Um, so I'll go through this process fairly quickly in this video, um, but that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so I've cut the uh, walnut from some reclaimed kitchen board and then I've cut each of the sections and uh, ready to glue. Okay, so these have now dried and I've got the three Celtic knots. I'm going to put them in the lathe, turn them, tidy them up and get them to co the correct diameter. So these two sections now have uh, grub screws in and they're tapped into the fitting that's inside. One is tapped all the way through the threaded bar and one is only tapped through the ferrule so that when you unscrew it, this holds on to the threaded bar and then it can come out and undone. I will be putting uh, a leather spacing in here, but uh, for now, uh, it's just about there. <laughs> 